At the end of your message, press 1. Hello? Hi, I'm Tristan, and I am 24. After COVID-19 is over, I am excited to go shopping with my friends and buy books and video games. I think that in the early stages of the onset of the virus, we were just holding on to the hope that things won't actually go into full closure. I think the, the biggest and the most frustrating disruption was that um, we were supposed to get married um, at first in June and then when things got worse, we were like, okay, maybe we should push it forward to May and we had it set for May 4th and then they announced the circuit breaker measures and it was like... I've been working in, in the US, in LA and then obviously the situation there is horrible. Um, so I thought it's safer to wait it out here instead of there. The moment you land, just go straight to the bus and then they take you to the, to the hotel. I guess like if you fast forward one or two months later, everything has kind of moved online. I read something online whereby this guy was trying to, to, to say in a note about like, you know, if in this 30 days, right, you don't learn something new, it's not that you have no time, you have no discipline. So I kept telling myself, okay, I must try and do some positive stuff out of this, uh, so like pack my room or don't want uh, And then someone reposted it and then cancelled out some stuff and then said, um, this is such a privileged thing to say, you know. I would say that's something that made me a bit more aware. Uh. Yeah, like even something like that is actually uh, part of the privilege that I have. That I can actually sit at home and try and learn some things. <laughs> I think there are also hidden stories that we find out that we know about on the first side, like for every 10 people who you see or are hearing at the point that maybe three or four of them actually, they might have circumstances that make it very difficult for them to stay at home. For example, they, they have abusive family relationships. If COVID-19 isn't over, I will be very sad because I can't see my friends. Uh, yeah, I'm worried. I think now is a good time to be your own friend. You know, now is time. Now is the time to really explore yourself. I've spent a lot of time thinking about like the things that I'm surrounded with. Is this all I have? You really get to see um, things that you own. You know, your job and, and everything starts to like come into perspective. You know, and I started thinking about the future. Like, do I want to do this freelance thing forever? Like right now, I feel like the whole purpose of me doing music has kind of shifted a little bit with this whole situation, trying to keep people entertained and like occupied with like good vibes, good music, you know, sends like a good message behind it. This is what I can do. I am looking forward to the time where we can have school events or mass events again. The feeling, the atmosphere is different when the crowd is together, when the whole school is together. Like. I just cannot imagine uh, running a National Day Parade in school where we don't have the entire school assembled together in the hall where everybody is singing home together or the National Anthem together. It is different. The best way that in this time, like, the best way of caring for someone else is to stay physically but and it's not just caring for ourselves, la. it's the people with less, the elderly. Just do something good and kind for other people. Lor. Because we're all alone, but we're all alone together. La. To listen to the message again, press 1.